Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan. We're hanging out here on the Citadel server, working on West Hill where we left off yesterday. And uh, I'm in the inn that we've completed over the last couple of weeks, which is next to the river that we have been working on for the last couple days. And I think we're going to pick up right where we left off. I want to finish up this point of interest and the other little fishing dock, see what we can come up with for some details. And then we'll go ahead and fill in the riverbanks in between and hopefully wrap up something on our to-do list, which we've been working on for quite some time. Danya MC, good to see you. Dan Grice, sweet Sandy. Thanks for being here. Grandpa Crafter, of course, in the chat. Dan Grice kicking around. CJ, hello. Hope all are well. And we have a nice clean inventory to start the stream. So I'm going to turn off the fancy cam. And, uh, we, I think we're going to start with like what I want to actually do down here. And I think this is a little bit too close to the edge here. So I think what I want to do is knock this back, which means I'm going to want to knock this back as well. I'll start with straight and then I'll go ahead and I'll maybe manipulate it a little bit later on. Yep, yeah, I need a bucket. What else are we going to need? Everything else is probably out here. Use the moss. A little grass. Although, I guess we just picked up a half a stack. Let's get slabs. Maybe even some spruce wood. We might actually use some trapdoors. Blast Jordan, good to see you. Welcome in. So I don't want to do just like a repeat of what we have over there. I don't think I'm going to do anything that big, but I'd like to have something down here. And I feel like this has to get moved maybe over here. I should have brought some carpet. Some of this is going to be covered by bushes and things, but I, just, I wanted the, the approach to be a little bit more subtle if we could manage it. That feels a little bit nicer. look better and we'll push this back too yeah and because this is supposed to have water in it 
we put this here. Then I can start to think about the kind of textures that might be around it that might make it look wet. Kind of muddy. Quick, easy. Uh, when you say subtle, are you talking about the slope of the hill? Yes, sorry, I should have been more clear. A subtle grade. I meant it feels kind of steep and it felt very sharp here on the side. I'm trying to avoid this double-sided dirt stuff. So trying to knock back. Essentially what we'll end up doing is we'll we'll end up contouring this a little bit better. I find it more important to get the cool thing looking good before you worry about the hillside. The hillside is just something you can always mess with at a later date. And we can help this out with some bushes and stuff like that. Now, I brought a pressure plate because I was wondering if we might be able to do something like this to help out a little bit. Not that it's necessarily going to be a dock, but something where it might be muddy and so people might have put down wood. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oops. Wood or logs to try and keep it from being so squishy. We also try to waterlog some of this stuff too. I don't know about that though. I guess we could try it out here. That sort of helps a little bit. I guess it would make more sense if this was reversed, wouldn't it? I don't know what's going to happen there. Jumbo Sale, good to see you. All the regulars hanging out on a Thursday. I 
I don't know about the soul soil. I kind of wonder whether we can do soul sand might be better. Although that feels a little bit harsh as well. Maybe this just needs to be coarse dirt. I did it again. Although, that's not terrible. I don't usually do landscaping with concrete just because it has so little texture. But that's not awful. I guess I could do also something like that. Oh, I gotta be careful, I guess, with that trapdoor, too. That's another issue. I feel like this might be better off. Too much of the same. What if I, think I need another dark log? I think I need to go get my dark oak. Calberti, hello, hello. So, what does everybody think about the snapshot that came out yesterday? I ended up finishing my stream just as it was released. I think that's all I really need. Oh, maybe I'll grab some mini blocks. And I should bring the profession block box. Is that one. Yesterday's snapshot might be my favorite snapshot in several years. The new potion effects are so much fun. So the thing that I didn't understand about the potion effects is like, why do you have to put them on a mob and then kill it? Specifically, I think it's called the weave potion where you put, you create a spot, you use a spider web in a potion in a brewer and then what you get is a um, a potion that you can splash on a mob and then when you kill the mob it randomly puts a uh, a, a spider web a cobweb on the ground I would much rather throw the potion and where the potion lands make a cobweb that's way more useful why do I want to put a cobweb on a mob? Like, or a cobweb time bomb that's random on a mob. Like it just, it didn't, it doesn't make any sense to me. So I thought we could have at least something down here that would look like a bit of a a thing. I don't know if I want to line that up or if I want to put it here. That's not terrible. I feel like that has to go over here. Then that's lined up with that. Hmm. That's better. I 
wish we had rope in this game. The same way that a lead looks like it's wrapped up around something, I would love to be able to do that natively. Actually, we'll switch these. It's either that or I do it here. That might actually look cooler. Yeah, that's more fun. And I think I need to get some spruce planks or spruce strip spruce. It has this, that nice green tinge to it. I think the reason I like the weaving potion is when using it uh, with mob farms, you can automate production of cobwebs, which aren't available or aren't renewable in vanilla. Yes, yeah, I've got a recipe for cobwebs. It's a data pack. It's like cobwebs in a slime ball. Um, yeah, I mean, I could see it being used in in mob farms, but but you could also how do you but you still have to use a cobweb to make the potion so you're using a cobweb to make a cobweb it doesn't make any sense it's not renewable the potion doesn't drop two cobwebs i wish it did Maybe I can put the planks here. Did I only bring the one of those? Crap. <laughs> it's supposed to bring enough to work with. They're there. Oh, you get three po potions per cobweb in the brewing center. Okay, well, that makes sense. So in that case, what I would say would be the better way to renew it would be you could use... Uh, you can automate brewing with the components, right? And you can automate mob farms. So it would still work. If it didn't if it didn't have to be placed on a mob, it could still work. You just have to find a way to harvest the cobweb. But if you could harvest the cobweb with a dispenser with a pair of shears, then that would work too, right? Thanks for the link for the uh, snapshot, sweet Sandy. Appreciate it. I'm not surprised that they nerfed uh that they nerfed raid farms. Um I think they were a little over the top, if you ask me. So I think what I want to try and do is pepper this with a combination of wood to make it look a little, a little better. And I think I'm gonna to try to create, now that we've got the curve of it, like we did the curve yesterday at the end of the stream where the path makes sense to me. Now I want the, the curve of it going up to make a little bit more sense. So we're gonna to have to cut into the hill a little bit. What I wanna to try to do is not move it on the X and the Z axis. I just want it to move on the y-axis. One cobweb equals three cobwebs by using a splash lingering potion to affect multiple mobs. Right. So again, still, like, I, you still have to collect those cobwebs, though. Like, I would much rather have a potion that you could drop 
specifically to because then it would have two functions right you could use it in in a fighting situation where you're trying to run away from a creeper and you drop a potion and it catches the creeper in a cobweb or something more dangerous like a wither skeleton or something like that right and then you can get away because you, you 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 could throw it specifically at a block you know like if the creeper's coming at you you could throw it here and not have it randomly go somewhere and then if you had it in a dispenser you could have it specifically shoot onto one block have that always be where your cobweb is and then you know or three like you just i think there's better ways to do it putting things on the mob just seems really really strange to me Somewhere I thought in our Spawn Chunks Discord, somebody said that they were nerfing witch farms, but I didn't see anything like that in the show notes. Or in, in not in the show notes, in the patch notes. Is that a slab? Yes. So what I'm doing is just making it a, a more subtle staircase, essentially. Not so sure about that. Oh, let's do this. This was supposed to be um, not necessarily a really built up area, but I feel like I've maybe, maybe you have overdone it. The idea here in my brain is that I'm using some logs and things to reinforce what would either be a pretty muddy slope. You wouldn't want people to slip, right? We'll be able to help this with the side of the hill, too. Uh, how do the devs nerf a farm? Do they make it less useful? Yeah, so Justin Tunes, the raid farm is now optional. Or, sorry, not a raid farm. A raid effect is now something you have to th drink a potion to achieve. So you can't have a constantly looping raid farm. Which just ends up giving you tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of stuff. I think they said nerfing raid farms mean back to using witch farms. Oh, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. CJ says, I'm not surprised raid farms are nerfed. Basic raid farms. 
So what's the difference between a looping rate farm and a basic rate farm? I've never built one. I, we don't tend to have that kind of need on the server. So this feels like it has to be darker. Whoops. They show up really dark on the map. I'm not so sure I like that, but whatever. Looks okay in the world. I'll probably replace some of these with bushes. Sounds nice not to get unwanted raids. Yeah, and I think that's, people have to remember that the majority of players that have that raid situation, for example, we have raids turned off on the server. Uh, you don't get, like, you don't see pillager raids roaming around the countrysides because we just found them really annoying, right? Especially because, like, West Hill was built on a, ra on a, far on a village. It was right here, right? So the whole time I was constructing it, before I got rid of the village, I was getting raids raid patrols all the time and potentially having to deal with the the bad omen effect right so we just have them turned off with a game roll which is part of vanilla that's not a that's not a new thing no problem justin's tunes glad you're uh, enjoying your day um cj says stacking raid farms allow you to have multiple raids going on at once to increase the rates oh i see so it's like raid 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 as opposed to going through the full raid and then starting a new one gotcha yeah i think the control is a much better much better mechanic so that looks okay this feels a little out of place does that look out of place from above a little. That's better. Still feels a little steep down here, but I don't know. There's not, not much I can do about that. This will feel a little bit better with some bushes here, I think, too, because they're, of course, things you can see through. That's a slab. That's a slab. Okay.
rather have a slow farm that gives me enough items than a fast farm that gives me a huge amount that I will never be able to use. And that's the thing, Sweet Sandy, too. Like, you build that giant farm, and then you just never have to use it again. And that's, I think, the issue that I have. Like, even with the um, this Wither Skeleton farm that we have, that was a, a concern. I have an extra shulker box I didn't put down. I don't think I need any of that stuff down there. I think we're okay. So I've been looking for a modest shulker farm design that I can build because I want to have lots of shulkers in the sci-fi zone when it gets to here. And everything I've seen just is basically a crazy amount of shulkers that you, you make the farm and you use it once and then you never have to return to it again. It's like, well, that's... Not exactly what I was hoping for. Full inventory, 38 minutes and 55 seconds. Surprise. It's not a huge path, so I gotta be careful here. I don't overdo it. So one of the reasons I put that over there is because I kind of want the player to steer this way rather than coming over this way. I might do the same over here. Sort of looks like the... Sort of trails off a bit. Oops. Mm, maybe not cobble. The nether dimension shulker farm that was on Infinity Cove when I was a member was terrific. I remember people were just using shulkers as walls. <laughs> yeah. Um, the nether, you mean the one that shoots them into the nether first to get rid of them out of the farm? I don't think I want to build a shulker farm in the overworld. I think I want to build it in the end, but I don't know. Remind me if I have time today to show you where I want to build the sci-fi zone. I've got a I've got a save of the seed on a single player um save and I've got it loaded up to that area. Don't need those right now. Done with the fences for now. So this is a problem where we've not textured this road very much. And I want some of the texture to kind of help point people over that way. And 
actually this will probably be something else Is a little bit heavily textured on this end. find stuff like this sometimes can help draw your attention that there might be something cool coming up you know it's like it gradually starts to change texture and you're like oh look this is all very well manicured it's a little repetitive but I do like those blocks this might work up here Let's reverse those because I do like the spruce next to moss. Yeah, that's better. I'm really missing my pebble texture that I have in my coarse dirt. Nope, too dark. So I try to use the lighter pieces to pull your attention farther down. And then you can do the same thing here. Kind of pull your attention over to the right with the higher contrast. Whoops. Still in a plains biome? Sunflower plains, yep. Don't forget we also have carpet. Makes it feel kind of narrow. There we go. We'll have to work out what's going to happen up here. Is your sci-fi project going to be a space age or cyberpunk or something else? Uh, I I'm going to kind of wing it. I really like Star Wars, so I'm going to try and go, I don't want it to be super clean because super clean usually means like a lot of curves and Minecraft is just not great at curves. 
So I'll have some stuff, I think, that'll have some curves. So depending on the size of something. Like I would, you know, I've been building boxes and, you know, gables for three plus years. So I'm looking forward to doing some sort of dome, but it'll be huge, you know, so it looks actually round, you know, like th that size, you know, something that has like a, a clear uh, scale to it that works out really well. Um, trying to think about what else I might want to do. But I, I want it to be really functional. Like I think a lot of it is going to be like my own personal farms. Like I'm going to build a sugar cane and a creeper farm to make rockets, but I don't need thousands of rockets an hour for the server. I just need to be able to, you know, almost clock how many rockets I go through on a stream and basically have it replace that. So like I'm not, I'm not swimming in rockets. I'm just like continuously replenishing my my supply and i think that would be fun because then i'd have to design my own farms and stuff like that and and then of course i want to decorate them and have them have things move around and look cool and all that kind of stuff i think this is good like i don't think i want to do any more to this i think that would be overkill so it's just the bushes now and i think we're solid dirty space opera the grime gives character yeah maybe I don't want it to be like gross though. Like I, I don't want it to be cyberpunk or uh, steampunk and cyberpunk. They tend to have like oil and grease everywhere. Like that's not what I'm looking for either. Because again, that's hard to do in Minecraft. I wanted to have some whimsy to it as well. I know there's a lot of curves in these designs, but if you look at the designs from Marvin the Martian from the 50s and the 60s from Warner Brothers, that's kind of what I want to go for. Very um, Maurice Noble design. We'll bring these down and fix the stuff we broke. Wait for night. Hello, welcome in. We are working on a little point of interest along the river here. It's a little path that goes down to a fishing hole. We started out laying out the path the other day. And now I'm just putting the finishing touches here on on the grade so it looks nice. It might even be better to push that back. Actually, let's put grass there. Yeah, see how that creates a nice border? And then here, I think it's far enough back that we can do the full bush there. Yep. I like it. It's good. Need the shears. Mango really fits in. Um, haven't seen it used like that. Thanks. Yeah. So I was trying to use a couple of different things to make it look muddy. Uh, we had tried some of the um, soul sand and soul soil, but it was kind of the wrong color. It has too much of a purple uh, hue to it. So the oak wood and the stripped tend to work better. Shears, right? Yeah.
Wait for night. How did you find the stream? I know this is your 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 back. You were here before, but was it a raid that brought you in? Was it the Spawn Chunks podcast? For people that don't know, if you're watching this new, I do the Spawn Chunks with Pixel Riffs. Oh, whoops, I guess I should look below before I started doing all that. Uh, some way you can use the vines to help blend them in a little bit. Whoops. I may have to move that pressure plate. I think that feels pretty good. Spawn Chunks, yeah. Uh, haven't been on Twitch in a while, but have enjoyed catching a few streams. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. Glad to know that the, the Spawn Chunks is bringing in some, some new folks to the stream. So that is a little too close. Let's push that back to maybe here. Just enough to create something here. This might end up being a tree or something at some point, but for now. Feels pretty natural. This is a bit much.
feels like it could be maybe a little bit too long there. Oh, I guess we'll just leave it. I want half half grass <laughs> instead of instead of full grass box. Uh, GSXR Spartan. Mind if I call you Spartan? Came from Pixrips. Love the content you guys put out. Thanks very much. We put a lot of work into it. I'm glad that people appreciate it. We, uh, I won't get into who or what was said, but I, I've seen some really, and I guess this is a sign of success, so I'm not really, you know, surprised, but we're, we get some really negative comments sometimes on iTunes, like one star review stuff. And I don't know whether it's just bots or kids being trolls or whatever, but it's just like, you know, I know, I know the content we make is good. I'm not taking anything that's said on there to heart, but it's just like, really? You listened to the whole show and you just decided that it was a one star, you know, with a a pretty negative review verbally. And you're just like, mm, okay. I mean, it's all subjective anyway, but, you know, especially, I mean, and you know, it's not true when the majority of the reviews and ratings on iTunes are things like five stars and that kind of stuff. The screenshot of the riverbank with the inn in the background you posted on Twitter I mean X. I just call it Twitter toy bear. X is stupid. They're still called tweets. They're not called X's. <laughs> you know, yesterday was so nice I had to save it. Uh, have you seen B-Dub's last episode? If so, what do you think of the way he textured large rocks in the area? Uh, I have seen B-Dub's episode. I don't tend to like wool in rocks. I find it has a warmer color to it. But the way that the, like the reasons behind he the way he did it is all totally cool and and he's right in the way that he organizes light to dark my eye as an artist i i see the hue changes too much it's why i don't use coral dead coral when i'm texturing roads and things because they tend to be very red they have a lot of warmth to them and this is kind of a neutral gray and they don't tend to work also speaking of my texture pack has removed all of the purple from the gravel my gravel is pretty neutral compared to vanilla gravel if you look at vanilla gravel next to stone it's it's very purpley um but no i i i like the way that b-dubs explains this stuff like when he talks about art and composition and things because for folks that don't know i mean if you're new to the chat if you're new to me i don't talk about it a lot on the sponge chunks but i have a fine art degree and i worked for 20 years as an illustrator so when i'm in minecraft if it feels like i'm painting with minecraft blocks it's because i am <laughs> Like that's, that's what I'm doing when I'm thinking about balance and composition and subtle grades and curves. Like that's, that's me. That's me doing art stuff in my brain and maybe not necessarily explaining it out loud that well. <laughs> I say that's pretty good. Fishing hole. Although I think I have to rethink this, which is unfortunate because I do like that. Um, probably just coarse dirt, right? Yeah. Can we put that anywhere else? Yeah, that helps. Okay, we'll do that. And I need to change the direction on that. Uh, that way. We'll do it over here too. Nice. Uh, throw in a little bit more grass down here. Oh, can't put grass there. Oh, darn it. <laughs> well, no one's going to walk on that hope, hopefully. I think I'm going to get rid of this. Let's did it again. Do as I say, not as I do.
Whoops. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. See, I went around that time. <laughs> So I'll worry about that later. That'll be more of a bone meal situation. I'm going to make sure that this side looks okay. I wish we had moss slabs. That would be nice. Oh, that would be, that would come up as blue, I think. Well, we'll try it. I think that's fine. And some of these we can hit with some bone meal, make them taller. I actually kind of like that. They almost look like uh, cattails. I don't, um, I don't think we've tried sugarcane. Sugarcane tends to be really bright. Could look like reeds. Um, and bamboo, you have to put string on to keep it from growing, which is annoying. Whoops. Yeah, it's a little bit too distracting. And my sugarcane texture is more subtle <laughs> than the vanilla sugarcane texture. I actually brought up a sugarcane, uh, a sugarcane image, and and did some art. <laughs> and sugarcane in real life is really bright. It's very very bright. Cosmic, thank you for the heads up. Appreciate it. The building with beat up series is a really good watch in that vein. Yeah, for sure. Uh, talking about art and Minecraft. What you bring up about wood and stone is similar to how I feel about using acacia bark blocks as shadows and stone. The sudden huge change in texture just make it brings it out of immersion for you for being stone. Yeah, I do. I find the same thing. Now that said, I've used it for texture in roads because it looks like gray mud at that point. Next time I go and take a trip, you, if you look at the the path way up here. Uh, I don't know which one it is. Oh, it's these blocks right there. Those are acacia logs. They're not everywhere, but I've got like four of them or five of them up there. For folks that are new in the chat, as I think there are maybe a few of you today, I do take a break once an hour. Keeps me sharp and on point and from getting neck problems and everything else. You should too. Get a, get a good stand up and a stretch. Maybe grab a snack. And hey, while you're hanging out here, tell a friend about the stream. If you've got someone that you think might enjoy this, let them know that we're live. Even if they can't join now, maybe they can join later. But uh, the more eyeballs on the stream, uh, the better that things go. So thanks very much. I will be back in about five or six minutes.
Do we have any No Man's Sky fans? Wow, that's a lot of mobs. Any No Man's Sky fans in the house? I, uh, I've played it a couple times on stream. Unfortunately, some of the updates did not land very well with me in terms of their onboarding and their descriptions. However, there's a new update that just came out and uh, they've added customizable ships. And that was one of the biggest things I felt was missing from that game. So I'm very curious to see if I can get back into it. And uh, I have a really long save on Steam, but I started a new save on Xbox, which means that I can play both on Xbox and on PC because I have um, Game Pass, Game Pass Ultimate. So I could, I could play on PC and lean back and fly around, do some stuff, and then I could stream it and also play on the same save and not have to worry about two separate saves. And while I have a lot of hours in my original save, I don't know that it's necessarily something that I'm I'm worried about keeping because it's just been so long since I've uh what is going on? Since I uh I played it, so I'm thinking about about uh about getting back into it. I think the thing that I did before that I would consider would be um I would um I would like to maybe play with somebody. So like maybe Alistair, who I know plays the game because it's available on uh, Mac now. Um, I think it would be more fun. And I think that's one of the things that I, I made the mistake of doing was was the solo thing. I think we could probably progress a lot faster, especially being in my second time around uh, in a, in a co-stream. And I... I remember watching Tango and Impulse and I don't remember who else it was, maybe Skiz, um, play it and really enjoy that kind of, that stream was fun. Free stuff. Yep, this looks pretty empty, but we'll fix that. use a little bit more of the uh, ferns maybe it looks pretty good to me so the idea here I'll get on my free cam is that I like to complete the point of interest right have that all finished up and then uh, we can now kind of subtly go from one point of interest to the other. And you can see where we have to completely change the slope of this hill because of the way that this works. So I'm going to go get some more stone blocks and then we'll smooth this out and then we'll treat this the same way that we did this and finish it up. Mythicali Emmy, welcome in. Thanks for saying hi. Glad you like it. Glad you like it. All right, so we'll keep this stuff. Need more of that. I think we're done with all the dirt things. Maybe I'll keep some coarse dirt just in case. Certainly won't need more grass because we're going to be picking up a lot of that.
No Man's Sky was fun when I played it, but it also felt like a little bit of a grind. Uh, yeah, it's um, it's it's definitely a lot better than it used to be. There's a couple of really good videos out. I um, can't remember. Force Gaming on YouTube did a really good video about a, six months ago, maybe. Mid-2023, so maybe a little bit more than six months, where they were talking about um the return to no man's sky like if people that played it early and then haven't played in a long time coming back to it now it's so different and and i have to say i've been keeping tabs on youtube i haven't really been playing myself but i've been you know outside of that little bit that i did um just on the xbox and even that was really basic because i wasn't um i wasn't uh I wasn't very far. I was. I started. I had to start over again on the Xbox. It's one of those late night things where I just kind of wanted to have a little bit of fun. Right. We're going to have to take out a lot of blocks here, I think. Start from down here. Make sure that this blends the way that I want it to. Because you mentioned Impulse, have you ever um, watched his Phasmo stuff with Skiz and a few others? No. No, I don't. Uh, horror games are not my thing, uh, as well as I, I find that that kind of game and stream style just not for me. I love Impulse. He's a great dude. We've had him on uh, the Spawn Trunks a number of times. But no, that, that kind of stuff is just not my, not my jam. I've never liked horror or anything. Movies, games, none of it. So nothing against them. It's just not my kind of content. All right, so one, two, one, one. That's not bad. Seems to help a bit. It's a little straight. I might want to come out a little bit sooner.
Oh yeah, no, it's it's not that it's scary to me. It's that I just don't enjoy that kind of stuff, right? Not that I'm scared or get getting scared. It's just that those kind of streams just to be able, like heavy reactionary stuff, just not my not my thing. Like for example, I love the Blind Wave guys on YouTube. Really, really fun channel. But I don't watch everything that they do because a lot of times they'll react to horror films or horror TV shows, and I'm just like, nope, I don't like watching people jump out of their other chair. Not my, not my favorite thing. So I think for here we're gonna go with a single line the whole way. Uh, review content yeah so i watch that's what the blind wave guys do they do reaction and review that's why i like them they do both which i think is great but again like if someone's reviewing a horror movie i don't care because i'm never going to watch it i and it's not that i've never watched horror i have i've tried a number of times to get into it and it always disappoints it's always some, um, I find a lot of times they just can't stick an ending to save their life. There are a couple like thrillers that I've liked. Uh, Ex Machina was really good. I like that. But you're also dealing with someone like Oscar Isaac, who is an excellent actor. Blast Jordan says horror films and games includes induces so much stress in me, especially when there's a live reaction involved. I'm happy to make an exception for the Blair Witch Project, though. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Like, I mean, I I like to relax when I'm playing games. I mean, I, I like exciting games, but I'm not going to go for necessarily a horror game. Sometimes creepy is cool. Um, I'm trying to think about an example that I've not play but it's on my list um if it was like tim burton-esque that kind of thing would be fun So I don't know if I'm keeping this rock. I might move it. It's not bad. It needs some more shape to it, that's for sure. I'm 
I'm waiting until the sun comes up or I can sleep and get rid of the rain before I check the the hillside, but I think that's pretty good. Uh Little Nightmares. I think that's I think that's the one that I had on my list, Justin. Oh yeah, Ghostbusters is that's a comedy. <laughs> Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters Afterlife, those aren't horror movies. Those are adventure comedy films. I love Ghostbusters. The cartoon when I was growing up was great too. Looks like I need to continue this around the the corner here. Some of this needs to get changed back a little bit. Yeah. a bit better to me except for over here yeah I know I could leave them just dirt I just don't have the patience want to get it done plus I have all kinds of dirt and grass blocks like so many it's almost obnoxious So we're really not going to see this from anywhere but over here. So I try not to think about it too much other than just like this kind of angle. So we'll have to create some foliage going up over there to cover it. I might want to take this back a block too down here at the bottom. Hit it again. Not bad. Turing, hello, hello. Hope you're having a good day. Yeah, that's better. I 
feel like I might want to take the top off of this rock. So I'll see what that looks like. Finally, get rid of the rain. Speaking of horror and rain, do you think they'll ever just adjust the frequency and maybe give us a slider to adjust preference for it? I don't know. I, it happens too often now for my taste. I already live in a rainy part of the world. I don't need it to happen this much. Yep, smaller rock is better. Uh, less distracting and doesn't blend in with the gray bits up there. So I'll just change this. Maybe switch this around a bit. Hmm. That's better. Still a little on the weird shape side. Maybe we can change up the texture a little bit. Yeah, that's better. Oh, that looks even more symmetrical. Let's go the other way. That's better. Shh. 
shears. Yeah, that works. All right, let's check this hill to make sure I've not made any mistakes. That rock looks a lot better. Need to add a little bit more moss up in there. We really won't know much about this until I complete the, all the grass, but I don't think from a geometry standpoint it made any issues. This is too straight, so we'll have to fix that. I knew that was coming. I knew I got to about there, so we'll fix that. Hobo Skunk. Great username, as I mentioned before. Resubscribing. Four months. You need something to spend your points on? Oh, like channel points? Yeah, I don't do any interruptive redeems or any stuff like that. Not my jam. Uh, you can, I mean, you're already a sub, so the only thing you can spend points on right now is emotes if you're not a sub, but that's it. Thanks very much for the, for the support. Appreciate it. So a new follower like Mythical, sorry, Mythicali Emmy could use points for emotes. Okay, so this needs to be less straight. How are we going to do this? I hope I'm just giving you a hard time. Oh, cool. Yeah, I get the question a lot, though. So we're going to go back and then back out again and i think we'll start at the top because that's the longest one and work our way down sure two three Gotta be careful it doesn't line up. I find it looks odd when these things line up. That's much better. Cosmic Dancer, thanks for being awesome. No problem, Emmy. Glad to have you. I'm glad that you're uh, enjoying the stream and kicking around. We're sticking around, or both.
very simple edit, but I think very effective in making that feel a lot more natural. And we'll look even more natural once we cover it with stuff. So I think I'm going to want high grass through here, probably normal through there, and then high grass through there again. This is going to be interesting. Almost full up. So, how do I want to do this? I think we'll put in a couple bushes. Nothing crazy. It's the wrong block. And then I think we can just start going along and planting all the grass. The odd burn. And then maybe here we can have a little bit more moss happening. Just to try and smooth that out a little bit. Oops. It's almost worth it to go around and do the ferns first, maybe, but we'll just do it this way. And then the rest of this, I think, it's probably going to be easier to do bone meal. Might be too much of a pattern.
Looks okay. Cosmic Dancer, gift a tier one sub to Justin Tunes. Wanted to say your streaks help K3 appreciate the little things in and outside of Minecraft. How do you take it slow and focus on each detail? Hmm. Yeah, a lot of typos. <laughs> Helps see. I was thinking like kindergarten threes. Like, what are you a teacher? Like, what's going on? K three helps me appreciate little things. Um, I'm a stickler for the details, and it. I mean, I will 100% use the disclaimer that it absolutely helps a great deal that this is my job. So if I rush through things, it's less content, and it means I have to come up with more stuff to do. So it it really does, you know, make for a good advantage to um to take your time when you're doing content creation because otherwise you're just shooting yourself in the foot so what i do is i i try to blend these little bits by hand and then i just the spots in between i just kind of go ham and bone meal everything I feel like that blends in pretty well. Might need a couple of extra uh, moss blocks right up where my feet are here. The idea is that I don't want to have to do the entire entire thing, you know? So you customize a point of interest like this, uh, which honestly, this rock doesn't have much texture to it. And then you blend it into the the surroundings, right? I think for example. Did I bring I didn't bring any moss cobble. Whoops. Right, just little bits like that. And then along here, we can just use the bone meal. And we'll come back and get rid of all the flowers too. And I'll show you a neat trick for that, is that you can use the RNG of the flower placement to add in your ferns. There's nothing happening there. These upper levels, I also don't want any too tall grass. So then you just kind of come through here. And then we can come through here and punch out all of these guys. But in the meantime, we can also maybe plant a few of these.
weirdly this place this area didn't bone meal very well, so I'm not sure what's going on there. And we're going to have to move all of our stuff in order to finish this, but I'll thin this out just a little bit. Obsidian Clad Fox, I'm up early now for a Senior Duggan stream. Yeah, I started early today. Does that answer your question, Justin Tunes? It's, um,. I mean, I feel like it's just a, it's, it's just a, a mindset, I guess. Yeah, Toy Bear, I'm not sure what happened there. It's weird. It's like having a bald spot. Which you'd think I'd be used to. Wah, wah. All right, let's take a look and see what this needs. Missed a spot, obviously. But you can see how it did like the custom low grass and then the bone meal gave us a lot of high grass in here. I'm gonna actually double down on that and we're gonna get it more as well. First, I'll finish up the bald spot though. Sometimes they just look silly when they hang over a block and I don't like it. So I don't do it. Did I get it? Sort of. All right, this is where it's definitely better to get a lot of bone meal and start from the bottom and work your way up. I think I wanted the two tall stuff to start. Right about here. And we'll have it taper off, I guess, about there. So usually what I try to do is hit the ones that are up against the dirt first and then leave some spots. I definitely want to hit the ferns though, because they just look so cool. I'm 
trying to skip the ones that there's two in a row. I think that's good. I don't know if I want that any taller. No, any taller and we're going to start blocking the view of the river. Yeah, ferns are a pain in the butt. I wish that ferns operated more like flowers. Uh, you need you need to use shears if you're going to mess with ferns. All right, let's just back up here with the cam, see what's up. Right, pretty easy. Using the flowers for the placement of the ferns helps a lot. This feels kind of samey. I might want to throw a bush or something in there. <laughs> One thing that would be nice as a tool would be to be able to like use that camera and then like flag a block and be like, hey, this is the one that you're looking at on the cam. Maybe you should fix it, you know? And really, this is the view that matters, right? Because this is the in-the-world view as opposed to the camera view. Looks good to me. And since we're on this side, one of the things we can look at is adding a little bit of dirt detail from time to time, which I find helpful. Just a little bit. Grandpa Crafter, 200 bits for remembering the trapdoor. <laughs> you saw that, did you? <laughs> yeah. Deliberately walked around that trapdoor again. See, it mostly gets hidden by the grass, but it's a really nice effect from up here. Now, all this stuff we can just toss in by hand. Oops, crap. Uh, that probably was better off as a vine. 
Didn't see it there. I find this can be a nice transition from a bush into grass is using a um, moss block with a vine on it. It sort of blends nicely. Seems like a logical progression. It's almost like making a new kind of bush, you know, like if you had this and then four sided it with the carpet. Like it's almost like having a new version of a bush, right? It's just a little denser. Word nerdify. What's up? And again, Grandpa Crafter, thank you ever so much for the bits and the support. I like moss uh, as a like a stand-in for connected texture grass. Yo, oh, yeah, yeah, that's how I use it too. We were discussing that the other day as to why I don't use a texture pack with connected grass. I used to when we first started the Citadel. We had um, the connected grass texture with Optifine, and uh, I missed it, but there was a limitation. So uh, with sodium, so we couldn't do it at first. I can now. There's a new mod, or not a new mod. There's a mod called, what is it called? And thank you, Cosmic. Appreciate it. Um, continuity. Whereas if I, I went and I got my, if I got a connected texture for it, I think from Vanilla Tweaks it would work. But I've done so much work now with the moss block um, that I think it creates a little bit more of an interesting landscape. It does, I mean, it makes sense that there's some dirt and it does feel okay like it's not the end of the world in some places it actually looks nice where like dirt in a taiga makes more sense right because it looks like pine needles and brush and whatnot uh yes thank you cosmic um i think i should step away for another break we're almost done we're almost done so still some work to do up there and then i have all of this and i'm probably gonna have to clean this mess up too so yep we'll stick to that so I'll be back in about five or six minutes, folks. I do this about once an hour, but I'm a little bit behind today. And uh, gives you a chance to refresh the water. Me too, as a matter of fact. I'll be right back.
All right, let's see if we can finish this up. Thank you, Cosmic. I think I may have to clean up the shulker boxes. I mean, we'll just move them because next time I think we're just going to move down the river. Got a few more bits of grass along here. And I guess there's no real grass up here, is there? Cool. Okay, let's dump some of the old inventory here. Don't need the flowers. I think I'm good for grass, dirt. Every now and again, there's a bit of a delay when you jump onto grass before you sleep, and it sounds like the footstep of a creeper nearby. It always gets me. All right, let's do a quick fly with the cam. This still feels kind of barren, but it's because of the rock. Maybe we can add a little bit more moss up there. Other than that, I'm happy with it. It's just meant to be a basic, a basic spot. Let's uh, see if we can make a little bit of a custom edge up here. That helps us be a little bit less boring too. Helps that blend in a little bit. Maybe we'll even have stuff like this. Mateo, thanks for the follow. Yeah, that sort of fixed that problem, didn't it? Good stuff.
Nice. All right, so where do we want to set up shop next? Because we finished this, I think. I could use maybe a couple more pieces of grass down there. Weird sometimes how two things will make a big difference. Yeah, strange. So the next thing we'll be doing, which will be tomorrow, is going to be the same sort of idea. We've got a point of interest here that has like a quick, rough, kind of I want this to look like something. And we'll do that. We'll make that look cool. We'll do the textures all through here. And then we'll just do the same thing, kind of blend this out into what will be a basic uh, a, a basic riverbank. And you can see we've got some room here to change the shape of this a little bit. So I'm probably gonna curve this back a bit. And we might do some custom stuff along the road here. This would be a really good opportunity. There was a tree here at some point. And I'm wondering if there's gonna be a spot where we can put a tree where it won't be in the way. So if we put a tree it was there, but if we put the tree sort of maybe here, not so big that it blocks out the bridge, but big enough that it, it creates some depth here and then doesn't block the end. It would almost frame it a little bit actually. So maybe we can do that. Actually, let's, uh, do I have, yeah. Got some blocks. So if I was to put a tree there while I'm thinking about this, it would be that line right there. Maybe either here. Or just to the left of this. The easy way to do this is with scaffolding. I would say probably in between them would be the perfect spot. And that would be cool because I think we can put that on a bank. Yeah, so we could put it here. And then it'll look like we could have it go like down over or something. So we all know what a Minecraft tree looks like. And so I can just, you can just imagine that kind of like coming out here and nothing ginormous, just, just enough to break the edge here to go up past the hill into this space. I think that'll be good. It's another thing that's closer to us as well that kind of like wipes across the landscape as you walk closer. And then it'll go in front of, as you walk by here, it'll be going in front of the wheat farm. Kind of breaking that up a little bit. Should be good. And then coming this way, where is it? right there so you'll almost be looking right at it and again it'll probably break up the yellow about there i should just put a couple of leaves on that just for fun uh this will be really basic and we'll fix it up to be something more custom next time
See? I wouldn't want it much bigger than that. But we'll make it look cooler. That might even be a little bit too dense. So we might have to play around with what we want to do there. But we'll make it look look more interesting. And then this way. Yep, just enough to poke up. Give a little bit of depth. It feels a little short, but I don't also want to make it too big. So. I might have to move it a little bit to the left. Yeah, see right now I've kind of got it right in front of the tower. I feel like I might have to move it a little bit more, probably about two or three blocks to the left. But I could do that either by curving the trunk or doing something else. So we'll work on that. So that'll give like a small thing. Um, this where it's not quite a riverbank, this is not going to be handled the same way. I think this will be treated like a riverbank, but up here we're going to do a little bit more just kind of custom vegetation and stuff. Um, but yeah, so that's the mission for tomorrow. And so in doing that, I guess we should move... Hmm. Probably going to want to texture that. So maybe we'll just move up here. It's always fun to do this at the end of the stream because then when you start the next stream, everything is right where you need it. Do, 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 do. Collect the bed last. Actually, I guess I can just pick this up and go sleep over there. So this ends up being very, very plain because again, I don't know what I'm going to be putting here. Um, I don't think there'd be a footpath, but maybe there would be. I don't know. It could be worth breaking it up into smaller sections. You know, like if people were on foot, I could see them maybe cutting across through here, you know, but I'm not sure. I don't think I want to put anything like a house here. That feels like kind of a strange place to put it. All right, well, I think the easiest thing to do is just to sign off right there. So folks, if you've enjoyed this, please leave a follow here on the channel. You can also tune into things like the Spawn Chunks podcast and the Sigil Cafe podcast, wherever you get your favorite podcasts, including YouTube. Uh, I'm really happy with the way that this turned out. You can follow on social media at Joel Duggan, and you can follow on Patreon if you want to check it out. It's a great way to support me on stream. It is my job. So if you like this stuff and you want more, then by all means, uh, check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. And also check out things like um, the friends that I have online. Sorry, I got a tongue tied there for a second. Uh, like Pixarus, so we're going to send you over to Pix, who I believe is still streaming and probably having a, a good old time. So uh, I think they're on the SOS server, digging a giant hole. So it's a hardcore server. Lots of fun stuff over there. And I think that's it. Other than thanking my fantastic moderators like Sweet Sandy and Cosmic Dancer for banning all of the morons in chat today. Seems like there's a lot of bots out there right now. And uh, I appreciate all of the behind the scenes that the mods do and the conversations we have to keep this a very good experience for all of the other viewers. So if you're in a chat, thank the mods and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. And hopefully tomorrow should be the right time. It should be... Uh, should be one o'clock Atlantic. That's the plan. So I'll see you then. 
Bye for now.